So first thing is you have a few different types of electromagnetic radiation in a spectrum, starting from the left with the biggest wavelength of radio waves, then microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. We need to know them in order, okay? There's a little song up here that you can click the link on in the PowerPoint and you can actually uh, listen to the song. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. So what happens is wavelength is great on the radio waves side. So we have a big wavelength, which means you will notice that the frequency is less. There's like one wave here. We have a lot of waves here. Remember, frequency is a number of waves. So on the left hand side we have small frequency. You may also remember that frequency and energy are directly proportional with each other. So if I have less frequency, I can carry less energy. As you move along, you will notice that the wavelength is starting to decrease on the right hand side, but the frequency is starting to increase. If the frequency is increasing, that means, of course, my energy will also increase, which is what makes gamma rays quite dangerous. They, they carry a lot of energy. And you should know some uses of each of the types, which I've written here below for you. There is a formula to calculate the frequency or the wavelength, knowing that it's electromagnetic radiation, which means they all travel at the same speed. This is C. It's supposed to be V. V equals F lambda from previous lessons. But we've changed it to C to let you know it is a constant, which is the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. That's 300 million meters per second. It's really fast. So you might get a question that asks for the wavelength of a light which has a frequency. You're expected to know that you would use the speed of light, so you'll do 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by the frequency, and then you'll get your answer. Uh, there's another example here. You have a different frequency. Same way, you do the speed of light divided by the frequency, and you'll have your wavelength.